Hi everyone, my name is Nia Bates and I am here with Cozy Homeschool and I'm so excited to share with you the newest resource that came to me at the beginning of the school year, the 2022-2023 school year and I've had a couple months to dig in to try it out so I'm here today to tell you how we've been able to use it in our family with homeschooling and how I think it would benefit you, if you especially if you're a Classical Conversations family. So I want to present to you really a supplement to the curriculum they already have but it's called Scribblers at Home, Recipes from Lifelong Learners. And I am so excited because I feel like I've been waiting so long. This is my fourth year in CC, so I know some of you veterans have been waiting a lot longer. But in our fourth year of CC, I was really looking for something that we could do at home as a family to supplement what we're already learning with our memory work and all the different strands. And this is a perfect way to tie in just a little bit more at home I know I'm a mom of three, eight and under, and so I can't do a ton more at home because of just life, but this is a perfect amount, and it's set up like a recipe book. Um, I like to cook. I'm not a great cook, but I think that I can follow a recipe, and I really like that Classical Conversations takes this approach as a recipe book. And so you open it up. I'm going to give you a little preview, and I'm so excited to share and just tell you a little bit about how we've used it and really that it's something that you can take it and use it as much or as little as you want, but it's going to help to take that thinking out of it when you're like, what can I do to uh, dig into science a little bit more? And do I need to Google and dig? And I'm trying to beg, borrow, and steal all these different resources. So I like that I can just pick up one book and it's here for me. I'm going to start out with the very beginning. There was a weekly menu. So I love, I love at the start, it talks about, you know, really um, a daily feast. And, and I'll touch on this. And this is pray together, play together read together, explore together, serve together. And you know what? This is just a good reminder of, uh, think about your why. Why are we doing this? Because on difficult days, and I will just be honest, today was one of them where I start to question, why am I doing this? And we need to go back to our why. And we need to, you know what? The curriculum's great. All this other stuff is great, but you know what? It's about the relationships. It's about the time that we're spending with our family. We want to deepen those relationships and, um, you know, our faith is important to us and that needs to be at the forefront. So are we sharing with our children about our faith and really what this is all about? Because if I'm just focused on the worksheets and doing the actual work and the numbers, then that's going to get lost. So I want to come back to, you know what? Let's stop. And today we actually did that. I said to my daughter, you know what? Let's just stop and pray together because we're starting to get into the red and I want us to get back to where we wanna be going. So stop, pray together. Are we reading together? Today was a day I just said I wanna to come together and I wanna read some lap books. And uh, so I said, you know what, I love. I love cozying in with my children and they're not gonna be this age forever. So I wanna just get back to lap books. And Classical Conversations does a great job of providing resources, which I'll touch on in a second, about how you can read aloud with your children and how important it is just to sit, have them sit next to you and explore together and serve together. And I will say for 2023, one thing, sorry that I'm tilting it, that I wanna do more of is serve together with my family. Find ways to help people in the community, help people around us, serve in our church, serve in our co-op, serve together. Because when we're serving together, I really think we're growing together. So I'm going to flip it to the next page. And this is the weekly menu. So in this book, you will see the grammar of phonics, of reading, arithmetic, Latin, science, history, and Bible. Sound familiar? If you're a CC family, you know these are the things we're touching on in Classical Conversations. Now, if you don't meet in a community, maybe you do Classical Conversations at home, then this will also benefit you, even if you're not meeting in a formal community um, and you're just doing it at home. Again, this is going to benefit you. It's really geared, they say, for four to eight-year-olds. But as I was doing this, I thought, no, this is something you can do with your whole family, whether you have high schoolers all the way down to babies and preschoolers. This is something that you can all be doing together and especially doing it during meal times, which I think is a perfect way to tie these things in. So as you can see, CC gives you a great example of a menu that you can follow. You don't have to follow it to a T, but I love that it gave me an idea of how to 
uh, incorporate the phonics, all the, all the different areas. It could be an activity. So for example, that says rhythm of words, page 78. So then you can reference the page in your recipe book. Um, that's an activity. Then this one is an other, it's a trip. So they're going to a library visit after your CC day. Uh, so that's a great way to incorporate reading. And then arithmetic, this one is a chart and it gives the page number for the activity for the recipe in there. And then Latin, it says skipping Latin this week. Might have done that myself this week. And then the next one, science, it says, well, there's an activity and a neighbor neighborhood nature walk. So they are doing two in one week superstars. Um, and then history, it's a story. So this could be just reading about, um, for us this week, we read about Anne Frank and our kids really enjoyed it. So that's a way to just deepen our history knowledge or from new world echoes or old world echoes. And then the Bible, there's a devotion. So that says they're doing a family devotion. So it's a great way to kind of, on Sunday night is when I plan for my week and just kind of plan ahead on how can I just sprinkle in a little bit more into my week to help us, um, one, grow closer as a family because we're going to do these activities together and just, just go deeper and further our knowledge and also tying our curriculum, our information to God, right? Because the whole purpose of CC is to know God and make him known. And these recipes are going to help us do that, help us prepare as they grow older in classical conversations, really for those challenge years. So if you're thinking about what kids need to know, what students need to know in challenge years and working backwards, this is what's going to give them a great foundation. So I'm going to give you just three little examples of how we have used this book. Okay, so example number one, I'm going to jump to the literature section. And this is where I want to show you this resource. If you don't have it, it's New World Echoes. Now we are doing cycle two. So we are using actually New World Echoes. And it said to open to jo old Johnny Appleseed. And it's a story that I was familiar with, but I realized I haven't read this to my kids. So I'm going to give you an example of what we did. It says on the back steps or in the park after lunch or at grandma with grandma at her house. And for us, this is how we did it. Our kids were doing art and they were actually painting and I had some light classical music on and I actually did this activity, this read aloud with them while they were painting because I'm a person who wants to just tie it all in. I wanna combine, how many things can I combine into one? <laughs> one day can we get a little bit of art a little bit of literature a little bit of classical music what what are we can we just put it all together because i want to try to get as much as we can uh in in a short amount of time so it says first of all prep time five minutes hardly any prep and then it's a read aloud tip chart right here and it's on the next page so there it is the read aloud tip chart and your new world echoes book so this is all you need for that recipe and I was, read the story of old Johnny Appleseed, and then I used the read aloud tips. So naming, attending, memorizing, expressing, and storytelling to talk about the story with our children. Ask your children to name the main character and describe him. What details about Johnny Appleseed do you remember? Do you remember other stories about him? What was happening in America when Johnny was alive? What did Johnny see, hear, smell, touch when he traveled the country? What song does he, did he learn as a young man? Three, did you know that Johnny's song was a real hymn? I didn't learn that. The verses quoted in the story are of the verse of the hymn that was set to Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, Ode to Joy. I learned something new. So did our kids. Try singing it with your littles and work th this week on memorizing the verse. Okay, and then it says, ask, you know, there's some questions about a hero. Do you think he was a hero? And we really dug deeper into Johnny and the whole message of the story. And then how, I love this. Lastly, how can you and your family express love this week? Have your children chose someone in the family to serve? Then help them choose them someone to serve and then help them find a neighbor to serve. Perhaps your family can become secret servants in your neighborhood. So it's really just giving us some prompts, giving us some ideas. And I will say, I really enjoyed this 
activity. They really enjoyed it. And we got some really great conversation out of something that you could look at it and look simple from the outside, but we really could get in and, and it's just more meat to chew on. So that was one example of how we use the literature portion. At the beginning of the book, there's a poetry section. And this is another way when, when they're playing with Play-Doh or um, at breakfast time, I just, when they're sitting, I try to bring a little poetry. I do a morning menu, so I do a hymn and we do scripture and then poetry. So I'm trying to tie in some more poetry and I love that they give me some great classic poems to add in. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the second one and I had my, my tabs. As I'm flipping through, I wanted to point out that I went to each section and I got those little tabs. Do you see my little tab stickers sticking out? I actually color coded it to match the subject. So history, science, Latin. Um, I put those in there so I could easily flip to the subjects. Okay, I'm gonna flip to science. This one is tiny beauties in your backyard. Now I'm sure you're doing all the nature scavenger hunts and that's simple. Go on a walk with your child, observe nature. But this one is in tying in the elements of shape chart. So do you see this elements, whoop, the elements of shape chart where we talk about the oils and this is a technique, right? Remember if you, the circles, the lines, the dots, the angles, the curves. What they want you to do is after five minutes or so, bring your bag of tiny treasures over, choose one treasure that you'd like to draw, and using your magnifying glass, carefully examine it, and then use your pen and paper, uh, paper and pencil, to draw your nature find and add as much details as you can. Now, with your magnifying glass, you know, guide them, and here's a step-by-step -step of a fish, but maybe it's a leaf. Look, I'm just gonna grab this. Okay, so, I have my plant and they're gonna look up close at all the shapes and they're gonna try to draw those shapes onto their paper using the oil techniques. So one, you're talking about science, you're observing nature, you can talk about the smell, the taste, the hear, all the senses. Then you're collecting your items, you can touch it, that can be a great sensory activity. And then you're looking with your magnifying glass, who doesn't love a magnifying glass? All the kids, you know, they hold them up and they see how the, up their nose, right? It's, it's a ton of fun. And then they're going to tie in oils. So hopefully you can just keep, you know, getting that in there and drilling it so that they remember it and that they can use those steps to be a great artist. Okay, so that was something in science, but I really think it ties, ties into many different things. And then the last one, the last one I have, and, and you know, just a side note, I flipped and I saw the Bible section. And I love that it goes over, it gives a visual of the books of the Bible. And that was really helpful for our kids to see that these are 66 separate books tied together. Um, and you know, sometimes you need these great visuals. I'm just flipping through, this is, wasn't my example, but you know, Greek gods, Roman gods, great visuals in this book. There's wonderful pictures. There's all the charts that you need in classical conversations are in this book. And so it, you, don't, you don't have to kind of dig around to different things they're all in here, right at your fingertips. Okay, last but not least is one, we've been on a ton of road trips this year. We've been traveling a lot. Um, this year has been difficult, I will say, to add a lot into our homeschooling. If you ask me what my homeschooling year is looking like, I will say that it's a little bit bare bones. And I am growing into a person who can be okay with that, and I was not. Um, I'm a former public school teacher turned homeschooler. This is my fourth year homeschooling. It's I always wrestle with, am I doing enough? Okay, and if you're here and you're homeschooling, I know you wrestle with that too, but life happens sometimes and I was really struggling that I just felt, you know, that I'm doing the bare minimum. We, had a, we have a little one at home, so now they're in toddlerhood, a year and a half. Homeschooling's hard with a year and a half year old. So now I'm trying to figure out when can I even do homeschooling? Is it only when she naps? Because when she's awake, woo, um, it's like squirrel, what's the ah, ah? Like I, we start to talk about something, you know, and I say something about math or reading, and then, oh no, Lyra, don't do that. No, take that out of your mouth. No, get out of the toilet. Stuff happens. Um, I also went through a miscarriage in December, which was really hard. It was my third miscarriage and this one hit me hard again, um, and I needed some time to grieve, and I was like 10, 11, I was like 11 weeks and had to have a DNC, and I needed time to grieve, and then it was 
Christmas and then we went away for a month in January and then we came home for a couple weeks and then we went away again and then we're going away again and it's it's a lot. So here's where I'm gonna tie in this one. This is so cool because if you're a road tripping family like we have been, this one is great for, it says, I don't know if you can see it, ooh, 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 a car ride, a long car ride. So we did this in our long car ride to Florida and it's using your memory and it's using the chart and the dictation chart is five parts of a complete sentence and dictating sentences to children. So there's tips on here. So you want them, help them to learn some of this information. They're not gonna remember it all. But this is, this is fun. You probably do this in your car anyway, but I'm like, oh yeah, I love this game. It's right here, it just jogged my memory. Choose one of these two car games and get ready to stretch your memory. So we did the first one. The first player starts by saying, I'm going on a trip and I'm taking a, and this is where you fill in the blank with any item or you can go in alphabetical order. And then the next player go repeats what the first player says and then adds what he or she is taking. So I'm going on a trip and I'm taking a flashlight. The next person, I'm going on a trip and I'm taking flashlight and sneakers. And I'm going on a trip, I'm taking flashlight, sneakers, AirPods, because that's what I'm taking so that I hear less noise. <laughs> okay, um, fun game. And then, we are practicing uh, expanding our memory, remembering details, adding details to that. So there's tips and tricks on here. And then you can talk about, you know, what do we need? A complete sentence, period. You know, remembering things, adding, speak slowly, enunciate your words. That was one for phonics. So that's a way to tie it in and you're doing that in the car. So where do I like to use my recipe book? I like to use it at meal times when we're all sitting. This is something that I actually am trying to look forward to for dinner time when actually my husband's home and we're there as a family and I can bring him into our learning. And if, if you have older kids, I think that's a great time if, if you're all together for meal times to bring the little ones and the older ones together and so that they can all feel like they're all learning the same thing, even though you might have an 18 year old and a one year old, it's, it's a way for just get us all talking about the same thing. So those were just a couple examples of how we've been using scribblers at home. Have I been using it four to five days a week? I will admit, like I said uh, a couple minutes ago, life has been a little bit crazy this year and we have not gotten it to it four, four to five times a week. Um, I will say we, we do it about um, twice a week. And for me, that still feels like we're doing something extra. But do you know the beauty of this is that I know that this school year, it's March and the school year is going to be over and my kids, we're still going to be homeschooling. So next year, it's going to look a little bit different. And the next in the year after that, it can look a little bit different. Also, it's going to change. It's going to ebb and flow. Maybe in this month, we, we do it twice a week. And you know what? April, we're gonna be home more, so maybe we can do it that three to four times a week. Um, and that's the great thing, is that you have this resource, you have it at your disposal, and it's things that you can just, it's a cookbook, right? It's a cookbook. I don't know about you, but when I have a cookbook, I'm like on fire, and I'm, oh yeah, I'm cooking all the recipes, and then it's like I order takeout for a month, because <laughs> I'm on like a roller coaster of, of just when I'm feeling it and when I'm not. So I, even though it's geared for ages four to eight, I really think that if you have kids who are older, you can absolutely use this resource to just further what you're doing in classical conversations. I think it actually could be a standalone itself, even if you're not, like I said, doing classical conversations, you're not doing the memory work, you're not participating in community. I still think that this is really valuable for anyone who's learning, especially if you're seeking a classical education or a classical curriculum. It is launching March 15th, 2023. Officially, it's gonna be in the Classical Conversations bookstore, available for purchase, so get it now. You can just jump in and start using it in the spring and or the summer, all year round, and then especially for next school year, so you're ready to have it. Um, I will put a link below for, make sure if this is YouTube, I'll put a link there. If it's Instagram, Facebook, I'll put a link there for you so you can purchase it and, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Sometimes I'm not the best at responding in a timely manner, but I will try my best. And I think that if you're someone like me, you're busy, you're on the go. And right now my brain is a little bit mush. And so I need someone to take the 
thinking out of it for me. And this has been a great resource, a great tool. So thank you, Classical Conversations, for coming out with Scribblers, coming out with this recipe book. And I'm just excited to grow our family's appetite for learning. Huh? How about that one? Do you like that? <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.